day everyone! Today, I'm going to teach you how to draft a basic polo shirt for male high school uniform. So this is my own way of drafting this pattern. I hope you will learn and like it. Let's start! For this basic polo shirt, these are the needed body measurements. So we have for the bodies, shoulder, bus, polo length, neck, and armhole. For the sleeve, so we have the armhole, sleeve length, and sleeve girth. So let's start drafting first the bodies. First, measure 3 fourths inch for the button placket. So from the top edge of your pattern paper, measure 3 fourths inch. And then draw a vertical line. Then mark this corner as point A, which is the starting point. From point A, use the shoulder. So shoulder divided by 2, example 20 divided by 2, so that is 10 inches. So from point A to get point B, measure 10 inches. So this is your point B. Then from B, downward, measure 2 inches for the back shoulder slope. So this is point C. From C, measure 1 and a half inches for the front shoulder slope. So this is our point D. So this pattern is composed of front and back. So that's why I use the continuous uh, marking of letters. So let us project point C and point D starting from the corner or from point A. Next, get the center of point C and D to get point E. Also, project point E. From point A, downward, measure one and a half inches. So this is for the back neckline. So that is point F. Then from point A, in line with the uh, back shoulder slope, measure three inches for the neck width of the back part of this body. So, this is point G. Then, shape point G to F using French curve. Then, to get point H, so, measure point G to C and then bring it to line D to get the front shoulder. So this is point H. Then from point F downward, measure 3 inches to get point I. Then shape point H to I using French curve. So, for you to 
shape it easily, you can project point I or make a horizontal line before you shape the neckline. So we have the front neckline. Then from line E, which is the center of point C and D, get the armhole, one half of the armhole. So that is example, armhole is 20 divided by 2, so that is 10 inches. And then also, get the length of the polo shirt, which is 26 inches. So this is now your point J. So let us project first this point in order to get point J. So this is J. Also project this the length to get point K. From point K, measure one half inch for the front. So this is point L. From J to get point M, use the bus or chest measurement. So that is for example 42 inches divided by 4 so that is 10 and a half. So this is point M. To get point N, this is the same measurement with point J and M. So you just bring it down up to the length of your polo shirt in line with point K. So that is 10 and a half. Next, to get point O, which is the armhole of the front, use one half of the armhole. So example, 20 inches divided by 2, so that is 10 inches. So you just Start measuring the front armhole from point E to get the front armhole. So you just shape it until you get the half of the armhole. So this is where it falls. So you just Project point M up to the measurement of your armhole and then draw a slight horizontal line from point E downward and then shape it up to point O. So this is point O which is half of the armhole. Now Shape E, point E, from point E, passing over D, up to point O, using French curve. And then, you may now connect point O to point N. So, this is point N. Same as J and M using hip curve. So you can make it straight, straight line from O to N, or you can have it with shape, just like this using hip curve. And then project point L to the right. So that you can easily shape the front hemline.
Then connect N to L using hip curve. Then for the back armhole, use 3 8 inch. Connect C, E, D, 2.0 for the back armhole using French curve. Passing over 3 8 To locate the position of the left pocket, from line E, measure 9 inches. And then from the bottom pocket, measure 2 and a half inches. So start. Drafting the packet. So the width of the packet is four and a half. And then the length is on both sides or four four and a half. From the center of your packet, use five inches. Then connect connect the points to form the pocket of your polo shirt. So you can just trace this on another sheet of pattern paper. So our polo shirt pattern is already done. So to separate the back part of this pattern, so let us use this carbon paper. So place it in between your pattern to trace the back part. So, back part is line F to L. Also, F to G. G to C then C to O
So this is our back pattern. Since the back has a yoke from the center back neckline, measure five and a half inches. Then project five, five and a half inches to the right to make a yoke for the back part. So this is where you cut the, to separate the yoke of the back part. For the sleeve pattern, prepare a pattern paper, then make a center fold. Draw a horizontal line on top of your pattern paper. So this is the center fold. So this is the symbol of center fold. Then mark the corner as your starting point. From point A to get point B, measure 4 inches. So this is point B. Then from A to get point C, use the slip length. So slip length is 9 inches. So this is now your point C. And then from point C to D, one and a half inches. Project point C and point B to the right to draw a straight horizontal line. From point A to E, measure one inch so this is where you start shaping the top portion of the sleeve and then from point a in line with point b use one half of the armhole so armhole is, is 10 inches 20 inches divided by 2 so that is 10 so this is now your point F. Then connect A to F with a diagonal line. Then divide point A to F into four equal parts. So 10, half of 10 is 5, half of 5 is 2 and a half. And mark it point G H I and then get the center of H and I to get point J from point G upward measure 5 8 to get point K then shape the cup portion of the sleeve passing starting from point E passing point K J 
downward using French curve. This is for the back cap portion of the sleeve. And then from point I downward to get point L, measure one fourth inch. So this is point L. Then shape the lower part of the cup portion of your sleeve. So this shape is for the back cup portion of your sleeve. Then you need to make the front. So just lower point edge about 3 eighths inch. Then start shaping the front armhole. So the front armhole is, or the cup portion of the sleeve is deeper, deeper from the back. So this is now your front and this is your back. To get point M from point C, use the sleeve girt. So sleeve girt divided by 2. So, example, 14 divided by 2, so that is 7 inches to get point M. Then, connect F to M with a diagonal line. So, this part has no seam allowance, also this part. But this one, which is 1 and a half, that is the fold of the sleeve hem. So once you cut the sleeve pattern, you just fold one and a half inches. So first, cut the front part or the back part or, or the back portion of your sleeve. So this is how it looks like. And then, let us lower the front sleeve. So, this is our sleeve pattern for the basic polo shirt. For the turbonized collar pattern, you need to prepare a pattern paper with a center fold. On top of your pattern paper, draw a horizontal line. So this will be the basis of your pattern. Then mark the corner A as your starting point. From A, Measure 2 inches as the, as the width of your collar to locate point B. Then project point B to the right. <laughs> to get point C, use one half of the next circumference. So example, next circumference is 15 and a half divided by 2. So that is 7 and 3 fourths. So, this is point C. Then, project point C upward to locate point D. From point D to the right, measure 1 inch to locate point E. Then, from point C downward, measure 1 fourth inch to locate point F. Then connect line B to point F using hip curve. Then connect point E to point F. So this is our polar pattern. Then for the stand, 
You just leave one inch. Then, draw a horizontal line. Then, this corner, we will use number. So, one is the corner, which is the starting point. From point one, measure one and one fourth to locate point two. So, the width of the stand is one and one fourth. Project point two to the right. To locate point 3, use one half of the next circumference. Example, 15 and a half divided by 2. So that is 7 and 3 fourths to locate point 3. Then project point 3 upward. To locate point 4. From point 4, so this is your point 4, measure 1 fourth inch to locate point 5. Then connect point 5 to line 1 using hip curve. Then from point 3, move 1 fourth inch upward to locate point 6. Connect line 2 to point 6 using hip curve. From point 4, measure 1 inch to the right to locate point 7 for the button. Then project point 7 downward. Then you can have this corner curved or straight. So this is our stand for our collar. So let us cut the pattern of the collar so this is the stand for our basic polo shirt is the patch pocket. So, in order to drop this pattern, you need another sheet of pattern paper. So, we have to use the length and the width of this patch pocket. So, to start, first, you have to make a center fold. So, this is our center fold and then on top of your pattern paper draw a horizontal line as your foundation line then the width of your pocket is from this point up to this point is four and a half since this is center fold so divided by two that is two and one fourth so also measure two and one fourth on the lower part of your pocket and then project your points and then the length of your pocket is on the side is four and a half while on the center fold is 5 inches since we have shape on this part which is V shape so you just connect 4 and a half to 
5 inches for the patch pocket. Now, cut the patch pocket. So, remember that this pocket has no seam allowance. This is our patch packet for our basic polo shirt. 